This is Chris with the Urban Artist Market, and I have an exciting artist to introduce. Her name is Sue Dart, and she does warm glass or fused glass work. And she has brought, I love this piece. It's a vase that she creates. Beautiful, organic, very high end. Uh, Sue, tell us about it. Well, this is a process that, that mimics an Indonesian technique uh, for cloth, actually. It's called a batik technique. And basically, this vase, uh, I started out with a clear piece of glass and I layered it with multiple layers of powdered glass, which is, you know, very, very fine glass. You have to wear a mask. And then after I did all of that, I made all of my little designs through it. And then I fused it to, uh, I fused it to this blue piece of glass. And then once that came out, you can picture this as a square, 12 by 12 square piece of glass. I inverted it into a stainless steel mold so that I could get this design with all the folds in it. So what I like about it is it's a very soft touched um, design where flowers can sit out on the outside of them. Uh, forewarned, it's a big vase. It's a 10 by 10, 10, 10 inches high and 10 inches wide. It takes a lot of flowers. So whoever buys this will have to keep that in mind. But um, it's one of my favorites and I uh, really enjoy doing it. I love that style of vase, Sue, and I think that I think it's gorgeous. And I'm sure that a lot of people come to you with special orders and that you're you're receptive to that. So oh, tell me what else, what else you do. Uh, I think you do these beautiful wine holders that are so individual hand painted. Yep. So so this is basically what it looks like with a full bottle of wine. And you might have seen some of these in wood. Hopefully you can catch all that. Um, it, it balances the bottle, whether it's a full bottle or an empty bottle, it'll, it'll balance it because obviously there's no halfway point with wine, right? It's either full or empty. Um, so uh, what I do is, is I use uh, each one of these takes approximately four fusings or four times in the kiln and each kiln takes 24 hours to fire through. So in this case, it's two pieces of glass fused and then this is 18 karat gold overlay that was fused on there and then using a, a form of enamel paint which is basically glass that's been ground down I went back and, and um, I uh, etched out every place that I was going to or ground out every place that I was going to paint and then I painted that in there and fired it fired it on a mold for the slump and then drilled out the hole amazing because the, the colors are beautiful and it's hard to imagine it takes that much work that you have to etch it out and fill it and put yep. the color in and you but, know even when I'm doing this because I don't always think of myself as a true artist artist like you you know color combinations and things like that I sit there and go hmm yeah that looks good we'll do that you know <laughs> and most times it's okay <laughs> well I think what happens I do and I think what happens as an artist those colors just come to you naturally in time you'll you start having a sixth sense and intuition about it and, yep. and they just pop in. So oh, the, this last you, piece that you have well, is- Let me show ahead. you one thing though. This is oh. something that, that I wanted to show. Oh. This, is, this is also a vase, but it's an enamel painted vase. And again, this is one of those deals where I just decided I was going to go crazy with my colors. Same vase design, same folds type of thing. Um, but you know, the variations of teal and green where you know, people want something customized, we can do that as well. So that's just a quick on that one. It's now, beautiful. the other thing, that, yeah, so the last thing that we were talking about, or you had mentioned, I think, was the platter. Um, I do weave uh, art wall, wall art that's made of weaved glass. And this time I decided that I was going to try to do something um, more useful or functional for somebody. And so I created this, and I hope you can see it. Yes. This is a 17 uh, inches along or wide by, I think, 13 or 14 uh, platter. This is a actual glass that's weaved together. And then I had first painted it with the, the glass enamel paint. So I had the, the basket looking colors to it. And then I added all these Marini flowers that I created uh, and put on here. So um, this is a, a shallow, you know, it'd be great for breads or fruits or, you know, whatever it is you want to display or just have it on your dining room table or you know, some place that you could actually, you could even probably mount it on a wall if you wanted to. Yeah, you know, um, I've seen them where you mount them in, you have them framed, this mm -hmm. weaved glass, it's beautiful. It's on your, in your gallery. Yeah. Um, I, I was just thinking about those vases. They would be great lights too. If they were hung upside down and, and drilled, they well, would be incredible. Yeah. yeah, they do. We do a lot of those where it's a smaller uh, vase 
And so that way there you can drill the hole and, and pendant lights or we can do it over your, over your island or something like that. And, uh, and that's another option of doing it because it's, it's so soft. Another option too is putting it on a lamp base and actually having it as a lamp. Wow. Well, that's I... I I love that you shared this with me. I want the viewers to know that they can follow your gallery page below this video and see all of your work and, and pick out something that's special for them, or they're welcome to call you and, and ask for a special order. Absolutely. We do custom work all the time. All right. Thanks a lot. We'll talk to you soon. All right. Thanks, Chris. Take care. Bye.